Hi traders, this is Mikael Fylsjö from beststrategiesfortrading.com preparing the European markets the 26th of November 2013 first like always I'm going to give you a brief about how I operate I'm a swing trader, I use a contrarian philosophy I bring my methods from price action levels pivots, troughs, peaks, trend lines, moving average I'm only looking at uh, stocks with a daily average turnover with more than uh, 10 million dollars or equivalent in euro or pound sterling. <coughs> I built my own scanning al algorithm in the Metastock platform. If you want to know more how price action levels are working, please look at my tutorial technical analysis 101 on YouTube. Regarding the money management, I have a position size at the moment at 10%. I use a trailing target of 2.6% reset end of day. I use a trailing stop of minus 1.3% reset end of day. This is my favorite example to give you just a brief view of how price, price action levels are working. This, this is a peak from in the market 2000. Uh, and when the price come up to that level again, it will make uh, a very strong resistant level and that force the the price to, to uh, turn around and go back down. You can also take um, uh, make price action levels from, from troughs. You connect several troughs and you, uh, you have a trend line. That trend line will build a support line and that's uh, where you use your, your buy limit order if it's a support line. If it's a resistance line you, you put in a short sell limit order. <clears throat> you can also use the 200 moving average. I believe that's the most uh, used moving average, the daily 200 moving average. This is the red line in this in this chart uh, that builds support on the way up and build resistance on the way down. And what's best of all with this um, price action levels is it's uh, time frame independent. If I change the time frame to a monthly chart um, that to monthly time frame the levels will be the same again uh, this is the level and if I change to weekly time frame the level will be the same still so that's uh, what I'm really like about a time frame independent uh, setups Okay, let's take a look at the first chart for the European market. It's uh, Zed Zucker, a uh, German company. Uh, this setup is uh, a buy long limit order. It's coming from this level, Fibonacci, <coughs> and this peak. Uh, this peak from. 2010. This is the level I like to put in a buy limit order, and the exact level is I'm gonna check it uh, 17 and 47, 17 euros and 47 cents. That's the level I'm gonna use for said sucker. And always I'm checking if that particular stock has an earning coming up because you want to be in a position if it. Uh, get hit and then you hold it overnight and you will uh, come up earnings release and the stock will gap in the morning at the open and you are 5-10% on the wrong side that's not a good way of trading okay no problem with that with sell super <coughs> next chart I use this low trough from uh, 2012 uh, the low print is uh, 852 that's where I put in a buy limit order and you can actually draw a trend line if you're just using the bodies like that and you have also a second uh, line of support she checking for earning from for Vedanta resources and uh, no earnings coming up in the near future Okay, next chart. AXA, I'm using this high pivot from 09. Uh, 
uh, the high print is 19 and 36 cent that's where I put in my short cell limit toner AXA doesn't have any earnings coming up okay next chart is BP British Petroleum and I'm using this high peak from uh, 11 and the print is 514 and 90 cent <coughs> that's where I put in my I actually put in just on 514 uh, that's where I put in my my short sell limit order check for earnings for BP and uh, no earnings next chart Centrica this is uh, trend line that I have spotted here it's this trough to that trough and if you draw this exact correctly I did it before the video and you will have the support line at uh, 329 that's where I put in my my support line and my buy limit order Centrica any earnings no earnings coming up and no earnings next chart where I'm going to take a look is read Elsevier um, Dutch company uh, um, going back and I'm using the highest of those peak and this is the one a high of 1619 that's where I put in my uh, short sell limit order and that was all and total of six limit orders for the European market I give them a uh, quick again uh, AXA a uh, short sell at 1936 uh, Ren read uh, elsewhere uh, 1619 cent that's short sell said circuit Germany um, 17 and 47 cent uh, buy limit order BP 514 short sell CNA Centrica 329 short uh, buy limit order sorry buy limit order and uh, Vedanta uh, 820 and 60 that's a buy limit order okay remember this is only my personal opinion about uh, about uh, the setups and uh, it's not in any kind of advice uh, any kind of trade could be risky and dangerous so please do not put more money on your line if you do any trades um, okay that was me for today preparing the European markets for the 26th of November 2013. Thank you for your attention and happy trading.